Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. For today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the topic of the benefits of testosterone optimization or replacement therapy. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. We cover three topics. That is masculinity, health, and relationships. So again, as I mentioned, this is gonna be around uh, the benefits of testosterone optimization or replacement therapy. You, you're gonna hear it both ways. But uh, the focus of today is really more on the positive and the results that you would feel or uh, see after starting treatment. Uh, I'll do a couple more about some misconceptions, some things to be aware of, and uh, treatment modalities. So stay tuned for those videos um, and subscribe to, uh, to see them in, in the future. So um, again, I have a list of the, uh, the benefits here. We'll go over these. Uh, if you remember from the video that I posted a few days ago, I uh, went over the um, some signs, some things that maybe you're feeling or that you should be aware of, or that are maybe good indicators that you should have your blood work done. Uh, I personally have been on uh, therapy for, I believe now, two months. I think today is actually two months. So they say that you start to really feel the benefits and really start to see like big benefits, like about three to six months. So I'm getting closer. But having said that, you know, they are ones that I've already seen. So I'm, I'm obviously very excited about the future. But I thought I would, you know, spend today talking a little bit about uh, some of the benefits and some things uh, that, that are out there for you if you do this the right way, which again is by working with an endocrinologist, by having your blood work done on a weekly or monthly or recurring basis to have it tweaked, modified, um, and working with a specialist to make those changes. And then obviously making a full commitment to this. This is not something that you can just kind of go in and half-ass. It's something that you need a full commitment for. So um, we're gonna go through some benefits today. I'll talk about each one. Some of them are related to what we did, did what I did discuss, excuse me, in that very first video. So maybe a little bit of uh, repetition, but uh, you know, nonetheless, it's, uh, it's good material. So I'm um, excited for you guys to hear about these things today. Um, so the, the benefits. Right off at the top is restored confidence and control. Now, when I say confidence and control, I don't mean confidence in that arrogant, make, fake it till you make it way. Uh, I, I almost think that control is maybe a little bit more of the, uh, of the prominent one between the two. You know, I talked a lot in that first video about keeping hormones in balance. And for men, the testosterone keeps you and keeps your emotions in check. It keeps you at an equilibrium. It keeps you um, at, at, at an equal or a steady state. So you don't have up, you know, highs and lows and epic up, ups and downs, those peaks and valleys. And the restored confidence and control. So if you can think about, you know, when we go through these benefits, just think about, you know, how you felt maybe in your early 20s, maybe your late teens, maybe even in your mid 20s. If you're a little bit older, how you felt in your late 20s, early 30s. So try to reflect back on the feelings that you had at that time to give you some sort of benchmark for what's possible through therapy. Um, you know, the restored confidence and control, you know, like I said in the first video, within about an hour of getting my uh, injections, which are weekly, I can feel that, uh, that sense of calmness, that sense of all is well, that sense that uh, everything is okay. And uh, I feel more like myself, honestly. Uh, and that's because I balanced out my hormones. So, you know, you're gonna get the more authentic self and you get the more authentic me and you don't get the epic highs and lows and peaks and valleys of any kind of like emotional droughts or, or highs and lows there. So you do, you feel more at, at ease, at peace, you feel more like yourself because you're, you know, your hormones are in check. If you ever, you know, talk about or if you ever read about or hear stories about people whose hormones get way out of whack there's a reason why they have like emotional reactions to those or why they're either really moody they're really sad you know those hormones up and down can really be uh something that that can really you know change your perspective change your look they change who you are almost uh so important to note that you know this could help restore some of that confidence and control and uh, as a man you know we have to we have to Make sure that we, you know, stay in control, that we have uh, our shit together, and that we're doing all that we can to, to minimize any risk about letting things get out of control and uh, letting things get sour. So uh, the next one is improved job performance. So 
you could kind of tie that in with the, you know, with the increased energy, the increased drive and motivation that you have. Um, you know, I know in the two or three months that, that I've started it being at home because of, you know, social distancing and quarantine, um, had I not started treatment or if I were to look back maybe a year or two ago, I know that it would have been very easy for me to, you know, vacate or to find excuses to not work, take longer breaks. And, you know, I just don't find myself doing those things as much. Uh, you know, being at home and working from home and, and away from the office does really test your grit and your discipline and, um, you know, how and your resolve to, to stick with things. So what I've, what I've definitely noticed is that my job performance, albeit away from the office, is actually better. You know, I'm more focused, I'm more in control, uh, more detail oriented, I can focus longer, my brain's clearer. So, um, and my, I can communicate better because again, I'm, I'm more authentic self, uh, not, you know, haywire with my emotions or, or thinking elsewhere, I'm in the present moment. So uh, yeah, absolutely with the improved job performance, um, something that you would see almost almost right away. Next one is improved relationships. And this goes for, you know, your intimate relationships, this goes to your friendships, this goes to your working relationships. So no matter where you look at it, um, you know, I think at any point in our lives when we feel better about who we are, what we're doing, uh, how we feel about ourselves, uh, that tends to really show up and manifest itself most in our relationships. So if we don't really feel good about ourselves or if we don't really feel good ourselves, you know, we don't, it's not the first thing in our minds to, to go and, and take care of other people, look after them, stay up on relationships, keep up with them. Uh, being in a good relationship with anybody is more about giving than what you're receiving. And, um, you know, you just feel, you know, partially because you have more energy, uh, you're more motivated, uh, because you feel better about what you're doing and, and where you're at, who you are, uh, that feeling tends to vibrate itself across many relationships that you have because you're getting outside of your own shit, basically, and you know you're more in tune with other people because it's not you're not trying to fix yourself. You're good, so you want to try and build other people up, lead people um, by example, and um, you know help build them up. That's that's really what a good relationship is, and uh, it's not just about what you're getting. So um, increased energy and motivation is the next one. You know, I, I've talked a little bit about, you know, if you're declining in, in motivation and energy and drive, you know, that's maybe a good indicator that you could have some lower levels. The energy that, and, the, and the motivation that you do feel, it's not like that, uh, that real high peak that you get when you drink like really strong coffee or, you know, if you drink a bunch of sugar, it's more sustained. So, you know, with the constant fatigue that I mentioned in the first video, you don't have those, those moments where you just crash at like 2 p.m. It's more steady state because again, it all goes back to keeping things in balance, keep the things in check. So it's more steady state and uh, you have sustained energy throughout the day. You're not crashing, um, you know, your brain's firing on, on more cylinders because it's clear, you can focus, you can concentrate. Um, so yeah, increased energy and motivation. You just feel better um, and you're not as sluggish. You want to achieve more, you, you want to get more done. And, and when, you, when you call upon that in yourself or when you want to do something, it's not like pulling teeth to, to, to get stuff done. Uh, you just kind of inherently have that desire to get things done or, or to move forward or, or to continue uh, seeking different ways to, to achieve your goals or your tasks. So something to be aware of, it's not like that, that cheap energy, it's good sustainable energy and motivation that you feel. Uh, better workouts and better recovery. That's, you know, that's a huge one for me. That was one I really noticed first, uh, especially even after my first, uh, my first shots, which were two months ago. I noticed that my reserves were a lot better. So when I go on longer runs, when I do longer spin sessions, um, when I'm lifting longer or harder reps, more weight, my reserves, so my ability to be able to call on myself to go either um, a level higher or to go a little bit faster, to dig a little bit deeper, those reserves were actually there and I could go for longer periods of time. So, you know, my, uh, my running was faster. I uh, wasn't as stiff and sore because my recovery was better. 
Um, and, you know, my spin sessions, my heart rate was much better. Because uh, testosterone, you know, again, I've talked about how it helps out your muscles. The heart is a muscle. So, uh, you know, my, um, my cadence was a lot better in my spin sessions. My weights, not only were the weights higher, but the, um, the reps were also higher too. So I could go for longer. And then as, uh, as a nice side effect, because of the treatment, my recovery didn't take two and three days, uh, you know, for me to get back and, and, you know, hit it with an, another intense workout again. It just, it didn't take me as long to bounce back. Now it's kind of, you know, think of, again, think of how you felt maybe 10, 20, 30 years ago uh, when you were doing your workouts. It just didn't take you as long to, uh, to get back up on the horse again and to put in another good solid workout. So that was one I noticed right away and I love that because again, you guys know I you know have to work out every day. So uh, you know that that was enough for me, but you know there are so many other great benefits. Um, and then you know along with that improved muscle mass and improved strength, you know in the first video I talked to you guys about going to the gym for you know literally years of my life and not really seeing like any sustainable change or retaining or building upon any uh, any strength. Um, the goal is, you know, for me to, you know, continue growing, continue building, trimming, um, and no, not to be massive, not to be huge, I don't need to have all that bulk, but to, you know, make, uh, make sure that the work that I am doing is going, you know, towards building strength and, um, you know, maintaining the, the course of a good lifestyle and uh, extending, you know, whatever, whatever life that I have left and extending that even further. So just doing what I can to, uh, you know, to make sure that, you know, I'm building upon good muscle, um, building lean muscle mass and, um, you know, making strides in, 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 in the best ways that I can. So definitely a big notice there, decrease weight and body fat. So no matter where you look, even if you're doing replacement or testosterone or not, you know, if you're, if you're activating or you're building muscle, you're always going to be burning fat when you're doing that. That's why you see people that, you know, maybe they don't even do any cardio, but they just go in there and lift. Why they don't have as much body fat as you would think somebody who does a lot of cardio and lifts does. Um, it's because they're working entirely just their muscle. And as a result of that, they lose a lot of fat. So because testosterone helps out your muscles, it helps build muscle, it helps build muscle strength um, and helps build muscle endurance. As a nice side effect of that as well, you do burn more fat. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned in the first video, you, you would start to notice it in that real pain in the ass area, that lower tire around uh, just above your waistline. So that's nice, you know, you, if you're putting in good workouts and you know, you're eating right, you're sleeping right, you're getting lots of water, um, it's, it's nice to, to see results. And it's nice to know that what you're doing is actually having uh, an impactful change. We all, wanna, we all wanna look good. Uh, we all want to, uh, you know, stay in good shape. So, uh, or at least be in good shape. And, um, you know, that's something that you would experience. Uh, the next one is better concentration and focus. So again, because everything's regulated in the brain, when your hormones are, are in check, when they're level, when they're sustained, when they're, um, when they're in balance, your brain is not focusing at a, or your brain is not operating at a, at a deficit in any of its areas. It, uh, it has what it needs hormonally to give you the best performance it can possibly offer. So uh, you don't run into brain fog. Um, you don't have you know, bouts of like losing concentration. You can focus a lot longer. Um, it's just, your brain's a lot clearer and it, it, it's firing on all cylinders. Again, go back to when you were a little bit younger. If you felt like you, know, you were a little bit sharper, you're you know, out of the toolbox or you, you, know, you were a little bit more quick-witted uh, you didn't have as much brain fog or things weren't as foggy back then. It's a, a you know, a good indicator that, you know, you just, your levels are just a little bit off and that, uh, you know, the therapy could actually really help with concentration, focus, and, um, you know, all of these things, or at least that one, you know, your ability to focus and, you know, communicate with other people, improving your relationships, improving your job performance, just like with the, um, the signs that you may have low levels that I did in the first video, all of these things, you know, they kind of work in tandem. So you start with one, then, you know, you see it kind of build and, and affect other areas, which is, which is great. Uh, you get like, a, I don't know, it's like a stacking effect, you know, almost like investing. It stacks in your favor and, you know, you experience multiple benefits, which is awesome. 
Um, the, the second to last one here is just an overall health improvement. That's a bit general, but you know, I, I'm going to go back to how you felt maybe, you know, 10, 20, 30, maybe even 40 years ago, depending on what age you are when you watch this, you just, you just feel better. You know, my skin feels better. My workouts feel better. My sleep is deeper. Um, my concentration, my mind is clear. It's better. My communication is better. It's just, you just, overall, you just feel more like yourself. And again, you're not operating any kind of a deficit. So just like as a general rule or as a general basis, you just feel a lot better. So, uh, you know, there's, it's hard to really explain that feeling, but, and it's because it's hormones because they're just, they're kind of wacky. They're kind of weird. Uh, but you do, you just feel a lot better. The last one. And, you know, I think that these two are kind of one and the same, but, uh, I mentioned that very first video about, uh, some of the things that happen when guys go in for testosterone therapy or when they're thinking about it, they come in there with two, three, four, five medications. And what those are a result of is, you know, some general practitioner or some, you know, family doctor gave them, you know, either a Wellbutrin or some kind of antidepressant. Maybe they're on a, you know, some kind of something for their cholesterol, which those things have side effects of their own that I don't want to tackle here uh, that are bad enough. But, you know, what often happens is that they have medications for all of these just side effects or all of these symptoms, and they're not treating the base level below. So when guys go in and they start having treatment, um, after they're doing it for three and four months, you know, because they're getting in better shape, they're, they're performing better, they're more confident, um, you know, they're better cardiovascularly, they're better in the gym, uh, they're better as a spouse, they're better as a partner. Just the overall part of the results, you know, a lot of times guys are able to like drop two, three, four, maybe all of those medications because they're treating that level below that's affecting everything. So I'm not gonna say that there aren't pre-existing health conditions where medication's not warranted, but it's not uncommon for guys to go in there and you know have two, three, four medications and be able to drop those after a sustained period of, of treatment, which is really cool to see. You know, it's um, you can't really under, you can't really overstate just how important this hormone is for us guys and our ability to perform and feel good and, and function out there in the world. So, you know, anytime you can decrease any other medications or, or anything else that the doc is writing for. I think that's a huge win. So, um, those are a couple of the, uh, the benefits. And I, you know, I think that they speak for themselves. I can attest to every single one of them, uh, maybe ex with the exception of the meds, cause I don't really take, uh, really anything else, but, um, you know, I think that they speak for themselves and I can certainly attest to the fact that, you know, apart from what I notice about my daily life, but also the, the, just the general well-being and the general feeling that, that comes from it um, is, is an absolute fact. So um, I can confidently come to you and, and, and deliver that message if it's something that you guys are, are considering. Um, you know, know that this is what's out there for you. And uh, if you do it the right way with the right protocol that, uh, you know, you won't be sorry for it. So um, if you have any questions, please, uh, please drop me a line or an email at project at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your time, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on another video here at the Mancore Project. Take care.